How do you respond when somebody asks you, hey, how are you doing? If you are like most people, you probably say, I'm doing good. I hate to tell you, but that response is grammatically incorrect. When you say I'm doing good, what you're technically saying is that you're doing good deeds. Maybe you're doing charity work. Maybe you're volunteering somewhere. Maybe you're helping someone. So that is actually the correct answer to the question, what are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good deeds. You will come across as pompous, but grammatically it will be correct. So what is the correct response to how are you doing? Stay tuned to find out. Hello, language lovers and language learners and intellectually curious folks everywhere. My name is Bakul Soman and welcome back to my channel. If you like the content on this channel, if you like my videos, find them helpful and interesting, please make sure you take a moment to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload new content. Also, don't forget to leave me comments. I love hearing from you and I love responding to them. In today's video, we are going to try and rid the world of this egregious error that is becoming more and more commonplace. There are so many things in this crazy, crazy world that we cannot control, but bad grammar is something we can control, and in my humble opinion, we should. So first, let me tell you what the correct response is when somebody asks you, hey, how are you doing? The correct response is, I'm doing well, thank you. How are you doing? Here are some other ways in which the word good is misused. He did good on the test. Incorrect. He did well on the test is the correct way to say it. Or you could say he did a good job on the test. Either one is correct, but he did good on the test is not correct. So how do we determine when to use good and when to use well? There are two grammatical structures that we need to review to clearly understand which word to use when. These are basic grammatical structures, okay? We're talking about adjectives and adverbs. Adjectives are a part of speech that modify nouns, that tell us more about nouns, and nouns, of course, are person, place, or thing. Here are some examples of adjectives. A big house, all right? It tells you more about the size of the house. A tidy house, a dirty shoe, a new shoe. Those are all adjectives. They modify the noun. They tell you more about the noun. Adverbs are part of speech that modify verbs. They tell us more about verbs. They answer a how question about verbs. It describes the quality of the action in a sense. How does he run? He runs fast. He runs slowly. He runs awkwardly. Those are all adverbs that modify the action of running. They describe the action of running. So our two words, well and good, okay? Good is an adjective. So we should be using good when we are trying to modify nouns. And well is an adverb. We use well when we're trying to modify verbs. So let's take a look at that in a little bit more detail. Okay, so let's take a look at good. So you can say it's a good movie. It's a good book. That was a good game. He is a good person. It tells you more about the book, about the movie, about the game, about the person. So it's modifying, it's telling you more about a noun. Well, as I said before, is an adverb, so it's going to tell us more about an action, about a verb. So it tells you more, it tells, it answers a how question about the action. How did you sleep? I slept well, I slept poorly. He writes well, he eats well, he eats poorly, he eats fast. How does he eat? How does he write? How does he sleep? Okay, so you're answering how questions. How are you doing is exactly the same. So when somebody asks you how you are doing, you need to use the adverb. I'm doing well. Remember, if you say I'm doing good, that means something quite different. There is one more grammatical structure that we need to review to get a full comprehensive explanation of good versus well. Okay? And that is a structure called linking verbs. Linking verbs is a whole topic by itself, but for today's video, we'll do a quick overview. Linking verbs do not describe an action. They describe the subject or its state of being. To be or to become 
are linking verbs. And because linking verbs describe the subject, we use adjectives with linking verbs, not adverbs, because they are going to add to the subject, not to the verb. Here are some other verbs that are linking verbs. These are called the sense verbs like look, smell, taste, sound. Okay, so dinner is good. Being, right? To be, that is a linking verb. The flower smells good. The cake tastes good. You don't say the cake tastes well. The painting looks good. The music sounds good. All right, in all of these, we use the adjective form because the good in each of those is describing the subject, not the verb. Let us look at one specific linking verb that is interesting and it can, you know, it does something quite interesting, okay? And this linking verb is to feel, as in how someone is feeling, not like me feeling the, the fur on the cat, all right? How is someone feeling in that sense? So that feel is a linking verb and you could say, I feel good, or you could say, I feel well, and they convey slightly different connotations. They have slightly different connotations, okay? I feel good tends to relate more to a sense of well-being, um, happiness, okay? I feel well tends to relate more to health, like physically I am in good health. My back isn't hurting, my leg isn't hurting. I feel well. I'm in good health, okay? So with that verb, you could use well, you could use good, but know that they connote slightly different meanings. So to summarize, good is an adjective. It describes, it modifies nouns. Well is an adverb. It modifies verbs or actions. Use well when you are answering a how question about an action and use good when you're describing a noun or you're describing the quality or state of being of a noun. So the next time somebody asks you how you're doing, I hope you will join my crusade against incorrect grammar and confidently and unhesitatingly say, I'm doing well and mean it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something interesting. As always, don't forget to leave me a comment and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload new videos. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next week.